Hey guys, we're watching Volgar's beer reviews, and this time I got a good one. I got a bunch of good ones. Um, I can't name them all off the top of my head. I uh, actually just posted a picture, picture of Facebook, but never mind that. This is the beer I got today, or one of them. D shoots River Ale. I've been I had it freeze for a little while, and I'm ready to crack it open. Screw the beer advocate. Well, that can wait. Not screw it, but you know, it can wait a minute. My glass is already half thawed. So let's pour it out. At Fred Meyer, they don't. Oh, they don't. Well, they do. They let you um, break up six packs. So that's what I got. Uh, four different Deschutes beers the R River Ale, the Red Chair, Amber, the Northwest. Um. I forget. <laughs> Anyways, it's a little bit loud. Whoa, that was almost an accident. All right, as you can see, kind of orangish, uh, but yet clear. I could see. Well, I can't read through it, but it just blurs everything. Very nice head. I I did a perfect pour right there. If I say so for myself. Smell. I smell some orange. Let's see, let me read the, t the tag. There's one that's clean and refreshing enough for the long haul, but fully graced with hop aroma, malt heft, and clear craft passion. Sit back, relax, and let the subtle pleasures reveal. This shoots at River Ale, Bend, Oregon. Craft for, crafted for explorers. Everywhere since 1988. Ooh, it's a little... A little hoppy. All right, here's the swig from the glass. Whew. That is smooth and that is gold. I like it a lot. Um, now I'll bring up. The beer advocate. The beer tastes very, very simple. It's a very simple for a, a pale, or not pale ale, but a river ale, whatever that means. But it's very simple for a craft beer. Um, there's hops there, but it's very, very thin. Um, this kind of reminds me of a, a Milwaukee's best. Well, I've never had Milwaukee's best, but Milwaukee's best ice. But in a sense, not what it tastes like exactly, but the feel. It's just very thin. It just rolls down your tongue and just instant, you know. There isn't a lot to take in, you know. With really hoppy beers, really really flavorful beers, you're like, I don't know, there's a lot to go on. It's a mouthful, but with this... It's a lot thinner and a lot easier to, to like chug. Here we go, beer advocate. Come on, my internet's not that bad, is it? Okay. So I kept on deciding, or not deciding, but trying to. Let's see, hold on a second. Deschutes River Ale. Deschutes River Ale. Okay, well, it's not going to work. Deschutes River Ale. Deschutes River Ale. It's not gonna work. Not for the shoots. Oh wait. River ale. There that works. I couldn't decide between uh Rolling Rock, PBR, or uh Milwaukee's Best Ice. They're all uh ten dollars for a six pack. Or not six pack, twelve pack. Or twelve or thirteen. For an 18 pack. 
And I'm all out of my, uh, well, actually, I have three left to my Rainier. But I want something different. I couldn't decide, so I didn't get either one. Great, that's not going to come up. I got to have the ratings. Okay. Yeah, so it's very thin, really easy to put down. Uh, there's only a lot of hops. If you're somebody who doesn't like, uh, you don't really like a lot of expensive beers because you just, you just can't take it. It's just You think it's gross because it's just too much. You might actually like this. It's not... I don't know. May, maybe I could be wrong, but this might be one of the beers that you actually can drink and not, like, get a beer face on. Uh, there we go. Dish shoots River Ale. Freaking finally. I'm only at five minutes, though. Yeah, I, I would... See, I, I picked these out, and, uh... The thing about only having 12 ounces is you only have 12 ounces. That's just that simple. Oh, that was it. Um, okay, 80. Bravicate gives it an 84. Good. The Bros give it 90. Outstanding. It's only 4% ABV. Damn, I think I'll have ready for another one after this. Um, you're around the average. The average uh, submitted review is 3.74. I think it's kind of low. I mean, really? 3.74? Uh, one guy is 3.64. One guy is 4.25. Two two 2.53. Wow. I don't know what else, um, I was gonna, I guess, okay, taste, citrus hops on a mild malt backdrop, slightly spicy, right, it's not spicy, slightly tart bitchin', okay, whatever, yeah, I guess it's slight tint, uh, citrus, but it's like, I guess it's not a lager, ale, whatever, it was, to me, it's very similar to this I had last night, but uh, this is a lot, way more hoppier. I mean, even though it, it's it's a it's like it says India Pale Lager, but it's like it's tame for an IPA, but it's still lager. I don't know. It's, it's kind of confusing. I don't know. But if you don't like the hops or you know the bitterness, you'll probably like this. My score is probably a nine five. 9.5. It's it's really good. I, I like it a lot. Um, I just I don't know. I just wish it was cheaper. That's all I wish. But it's it's really good. This is something if you're if you're you know you're really thirsty. You want a good beer. You can't go. You can't get any better than this. I mean, it's so thin it just goes right down. Great stuff. By the way, I got this for my brother because he likes puzzles and stuff. I got for a dollar at Goodwill. It looks like a baby's toy, but this is not a baby's toy. I didn't even know what it was, so I got home and started fiddling with it, trying to, trying to, well, play with it. Cubix 360. I guess, okay, you got all these little balls in the center of this uh, gyro puzzle thing you're supposed to get a, the ball out of the hole on the top of the t of the smallest ball and get that ball to line up with the next ball with the hole in it go out that hole and get that ball to its match the matching uh, hole I was gonna look up a video if, if it can be done but I uh, I haven't got to it yet, but yeah, it's, I've, I, the best I can do is get a ball, uh, on the outside of the smallest ball, you know, on the edge of it, roll it around trying to get it to the outside and, and it'll fall back in. It, yeah, I did not think it would be that difficult, I didn't even mess with it when I was in the store, I just like, oh wow, cool, looks neat, that was it. They didn't find anything else to go to Will, uh, no music, no, nothing else.
almost bought a Schlitz glass, but it was just like my, uh, um, what do you call it? Uh, it was just like my Olympia glass, my uh, chalice. But it was like more beat up. The, the logo was, was faded. Even for a dollar, enough glasses. Nah, pass. But yeah, that was Deschutes River Ale. 9.5 out of 10. I, I highly recommend it to anybody. Anybody. Um, if you're picky and all you drink is uh, Bush Miller Coors and you want it to reach out you're outside the box and you've all, and, you know, Shock Top or, or Blue Moon or whatever the kind of false craft beers uh, you might try and you might like or dislike, forget that. Go to this. This is the real deal. All right. I've gone on too long. See you next time. Stay thirsty, my friends. <laughs>